What's up guys and welcome to the video here on CR95 Games. Today I'm bringing you three awesome builds for an amazing Warframe. If it wasn't for this frame I would not have a favorite one. I love them all but this one just puts it over the top and that frame is Nova Prime. She is just amazing in every way. She can be used for whatever you want to and she's always going to be useful and helpful to the whole team. Let's take a look at the builds. So the first build we're looking at is Slova. For our aura mob we have Corrosive Projection. Exilus we have Power Drift for Ability Strength and Intensify for Ability Strength which with those two power mods allow us to make her Molecular Prime slow up to 75% which is its maximum on that ability. Then we have Streamline for Efficiency and Fleeting Expertise for Efficiency its duration does take down its efficiency, but with this build, we're already going to be using Molecular Prime for over 60 meters, and with such low efficiency and such a high energy pool, we'll be able to go around and spam Molecular Prime all we want to, so we can slow down those stragglers and make sure we slow down every enemy there is on the map. Prime Flow, so we get that big energy pool. Prime Continuity for duration and then redirection and vitality for our health and shields. So with this our molecular prime cost only 25 energy. Range meters 60, slow percentage 75, explosion damage 1160, explosion range 4, duration 11.1 and effect duration 55.5. So let's go take a look at what this can do. So for now I've just spawned 20 level 80 chargers to show you how much this is going to slow them down which so for this I've just spawned 20 level 80 chargers to show you how much that this can actually slow them down so let's take a look at it start chasing me Only a couple decided to chase me, but you can see they are very slow compared to what they were. They're barely even moving. You can use this on any map for any reason. It is just amazing. And then her antimatter drop is an amazing ability. It's so strong. It's just it can control the entire map. I've been able to get more kills than Saren's any other frame that has been in the game with me next to Banshee because she can kill all the enemies from much further than I can reach them. But with her antimatter drop and we're looking at 20 level 80 chargers, all it takes is one and a couple seconds and they're all dead. The next one we're looking at is Spacefa, which is still a slow Nova, but she has a bigger range and a lower efficiency. So this one is more for maps like the Plains of Eidolon, something really, really, really big. And then raids, if they were still here, which they're not at the moment, but for example, raids. So you can still use the other Sova build on Plains of Eidolon and for example raids and stuff like that it's really just a matter of preference I really like to use the other Sova build most of the time just to make sure that I can slow down every enemy there is and crowd control everything but what we're looking at on this one is Corrosive Projection and our Aura Power Drift and our Exilus intensify for more strength again, so we still get that maximum 75% slow. Redirection and Vitality for our shield capacity and health. Streamline for a little bit of efficiency. Constitution for ability duration. Narrow Minded for ability duration. And Prime Continuity for more ability duration. And then Prime Flow for that big energy pull again. And this time we're looking at. 35 energy for antimatter drop with still a 5.8 damage multiplier. Molecular Prime 70 energy per use with a range of 86 meters, which is 26 
0.4 over what we had with the last build. Still the slow percentage of 75, 1116 explosion damage, 4 explosion range, duration 16.38 seconds, which is four sec or 5 seconds over what we had the last time, and an effect duration of 81 seconds, which is 26 seconds over what we had the last time. There isn't much to really show, to show a whole lot of difference here in the simulacrum with this build, considering really the only difference is that you could see is that her molecular prime goes further and it's kind of hard to see it here in this giant silverish white area so can't show much to do with that and slow percentage is still the same because we're at max on either build and antimatter drop is still going to decimate no matter what even through all of that range it is just so awesome so what makes nova stop slowing enemies with their molecular prime and start speeding them up instead? The answer is one mod, overextended, which takes our ability strength down so far that it goes into negative capabili capabilities, allowing us to speed up enemies rather than slow them. So if you want to use Speedva, this is an absolute necessity. You have to have this mod on her to actually speed up the enemies. Next on this build, we're looking at redirection and vitality for shields and health again, prime continuity for duration, narrow-minded for more duration, streamline for efficiency, fleeting expertise for efficiency, and prime flow for that big energy pool. So, this is really the same build as the Slova one in terms of our efficiency and our duration, except it's going to be speeding them up because we have overextended on. And the other difference between this one and the other builds is that since this one has overextended on it and we will have the capability of putting range on one of her abilities which that one is her nova portal so her portal will take you for a further range with this build actually a lot lot longer range but it's not too big of a deal with the other ones because with slova build it has such a low efficiency that you can spam her Nova Portal if you really have to to get where you're trying to get as fast as possible. So let's go take a look at what this one does. Once again, we have 20 level 80 chargers, and as we already know, they're pretty fast to begin with. And apparently they like boxing me in. But, so let's see how fast we can really get them moving. Yeah, that, that's pretty fast. So this is really going to help you speed up your games and your farming. So if you're farming on survival, that means if you're using Speedva, you're going to get more enemies to kill and more resources in 10 minutes than you would have gotten if you weren't using Speedva or if you were using Slovo, you definitely would have got a lot less. So Speedva is just great all around. And then... Our antimatter drop is still, once again, going to decimate everything in a huge range at high levels. So, I'm going to show some footage of Nova as well. I'm going to show her as Slova and Speedva. And I'm also going to show you what her antimatter drop can really do. I hope you enjoy the footage. That's it for this one, everybody. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope these Nova builds helped you out there three awesome builds, some of the best out there. I hope you're having as much fun with Nova as I am. I love her. She's so great. You can use her for just about anything. She's just awesome. You can use her multiple different ways. If there are any builds you have out there, any ways you like to use her, put them down below in the comments and let me know. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope these helped you out. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.